the contract ACT 1872. Preamble. Whereas it is expedient to define and amend certain parts of the law relating to contracts, it is enacted as follows. Preliminary. Short title. 1. This act may be called the Contract Act 1872. Extent commencement. It extends to the whole of Dash. And it shall come into force on the first day of September 1872. Enactments repealed. Nothing herein contained shall affect the provisions of any statute, act, or regulation not hereby expressly repealed, nor any usage or custom of trade, nor any incident of any contract, not inconsistent with the provisions of this act. Interpretation Clause 2. In this act the following words and expressions are used in the following senses, unless a contrary intention appears from the context. Uh, when one person signifies to another his willingness to do or to abstain from doing anything with a view to obtaining the assent of that other to such act or abstinence, he is said to make a proposal. Be when the person to whom the proposal is made signifies his assent. Thereto the proposal is said to be accepted. A proposal, when accepted, becomes a promise. See the person making the proposal is called the promiser and the person. Accepting the proposal is called the promisee. Do you win? at the desire of the promiser, the promisee, or any other person has done or abstained from doing, or does or abstains from doing, or promises to do or to abstain from doing something, such act or abstinence or promises, called a consideration for the promise, e every promise and every set of promises, forming the consideration for each other, is an agreement. F promises which form the consideration or part of the consideration for each other are called reciprocal promises. G. An agreement not enforceable by law is said to be void. H. An agreement enforceable by law is a contract. I. An agreement which is enforceable by law at the option of one or more of the parties thereto but not at the option of the other or others is a voidable contract. J. A contract which ceases to be enforceable by law becomes void when it ceases to be enforceable. Chapter I. Of the communication, acceptance, and revocation of proposals. Communication, acceptance, and revocation of proposals. 3. The communication of proposals, the acceptance of proposals, and the revocation of proposals and acceptances, respectively, are deemed to be made by any act or omission of the party proposing, accepting, or revoking by which he intends to communicate. Such proposal, acceptance, or revocation, or which has the effect of communicating it. Communication when complete. 4. The communication of a proposal is complete when it comes to the knowledge of the person to whom it is made. The communication of an acceptance is complete, as against the proposer, when it is put in a course of transmission to him, so as to be out of the power of the acceptor, as against the acceptor, when it comes to the knowledge of the proposer. The communication of a revocation is complete, as against the person who makes it, when it is put into a course of transmission to the person to whom it is made, so as to be out of the power of the person who makes it as against the person to whom it is made, when it comes to his knowledge. Illustrations A. A proposes, by letter, to sell a house to be at a certain price. The communication of the proposal is complete when B receives the letter. B. B. accepts A's proposal by a letter sent by post. The communication of the acceptance is complete, as against A when the letter is posted, as against B when the letter is received by A. C. A. revokes his proposal by telegram. The revocation is complete as against A when the telegram is dispatched. It is complete as against B when B receives it. B revokes his acceptance by telegram. B's revocation is complete as against B when the telegram is dispatched and as against A when it reaches him. Revocation of proposals and acceptances. 5. A proposal may be revoked at any time before the communication of its acceptance is complete as against the proposer, but not afterwards. An acceptance may be revoked at any time before the communication of the acceptance is complete as against the acceptor, but not afterwards. Illustrations A proposes, by a letter sent by post, to sell his house to B.B. accepts the proposal by a letter sent by post. A may revoke his proposal at any time before, or at the moment when B. posts his letter of acceptance, but not afterwards. B. may revoke his acceptance at any time before or at the moment when the letter communicated and reaches a but not afterwards. Revocation how may 6. A proposal is revoked. 1. By the communication of notice of revocation by the proposer to the other party. 2. By the lapse of the time prescribed in such proposal for his acceptance. Or, 
if no time is so prescribed by the lapse a reasonable time without communication of the acceptance three by the failure of the acceptor to fulfill a condition precedent to acceptance or acceptance must be absolute seven in order to convert a proposal into a promise the acceptance must one be absolute and unqualified to be expressed in some usual and reasonable manner unless the proposal prescribes the manner in which it is to be accepted if the proposal prescribes a manner in which it is to be accepted and the acceptance is not made in such manner the proposer may within a reasonable time after the acceptance is communicated to him insist that his proposal shall be accepted in the prescribed manner and not otherwise but if he fails to do so he accepts the acceptance acceptance by performing conditions or receiving consideration eight performance of the conditions of a proposal or the acceptance of any consideration for a reciprocal promise which may be offered with a proposal is an acceptance of the proposal promises express and implied nine and so far as the proposal or acceptance of any promise is made in words the promise is said to be express and so far as such proposal or acceptance is made otherwise than in words the promise is said to be implied chapter two of contracts voidable contracts and void agreements what agreements are contracts 10 all agreements are contracts if they are made by the free consent of parties competent to contract for a lawful consideration and with a lawful object and are not hereby expressly declared to be void nothing herein contained shall affect any law in force in bangladesh and not hereby expressly repealed by which any contract is required to be made in writing or in the presence of witnesses or any law relating to the registration of documents who are competent to contract 11 every person is competent to contract who is of the age of majority according to the law to which he is subject and who is of sound mind and is not disqualified from contracting by any law to which he is subject what is a sound mind for the purposes of contracting 12 a person is said to be of sound mind for the purpose of making a contract if, at the time when he makes it he is capable of understanding it and of forming a rational judgment as to its effect upon his interests a person who is usually of unsound mind but occasionally of sound mind may make a contract when he is of sound mind a person who is usually of sound mind but occasionally of unsound mind may not make a contract when he is of unsound mind illustrations a, a patient in asylum who is at intervals of sound mind may contract during those intervals be a sane man who is delirious from fever or who is so drunk that he cannot understand the terms of a contract or form a rational judgment as to its effect on his interests cannot contract while such delirium or drunkenness lasts consent defined 13 two or more persons are said to consent when they agree upon the same thing in the same sense free consent defined 14 Consent is said to be free when it is not caused by 1. Coercion, as defined in section 15, or 2. Undue influence, as defined in section 16, or 3. Fraud, as defined in section 17, or 4. Misrepresentation, as defined in section 18, or 5. Mistake, subject to the proof, as of sections 20, 21, and 22. Consent is said to be so caused when it would not have been given but for the existence of such coercion, undue influence, fraud, misrepresentation, or mistake. Coercion defined. 15. Coercion is the committing or threatening to commit any act forbidden by the penal code or the unlawful detaining or threatening to detain any property to the prejudice of any person whatever with the intention of causing any person to enter into an agreement. Explanation. It is immaterial whether the penal code is or is not in force in the place where the coercion is employed. Illustrations. A on board an English ship on the high seas causes B to enter into an agreement by an act amounting to criminal intimidation under the penal code. A afterwards sues B for breach of contract at Chittagong. A has employed coercion, although his act is not an offense by the law of England. And although section 506 of the Penal code was not in force at the time when or place where the act was done. Undue influence defined. 16. 1. A contract is said to be induced by undue influence where the relations subsisting between the parties are such that one of the parties is in a position to dominate the will of the other and uses that position to obtain an unfair advantage over the other. 2. In particular and without prejudice to the generality of the foregoing principle, a person...